Hi everyone, <coughs> welcome to today's session. So let us start our session now. Hmm? Okay. Okay, so everyone, please sit in a comfortable position. Put your hands in a comfortable position. Gently close your eyes. <clears throat> We're going to do some living exercises first. When you breathe in, breathe in all the good and all the fresh air. When you breathe out, whatever tension and tightness, whatever feelings of stress or tiredness, whatever negative feeling, negative emotion that you feel in your body and in your mind, we're going to let it all go out together <coughs> with the outbreak. Okay, so let us try gently take a deep breath in gently let it out relax 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 For the second time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 For the third time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. For the last time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 Relaxation of the body, if there is any more tension and tightness. Any more feelings of using or exerting strength in the body. Gently let it go and let the body abide in a state of relaxation and in action. Relaxation of the mind. Let us be aware of the state of mind at every present moment.
if there is any wantings, any cravings, any expectations, even for wholesome states of mind. Gently let it go and let the mind abide in a state of non-wanting, non-craving and non-expectations. Then let the mind abide in, in action. For the mind not doing or thinking about anything in particular. Not having the need for the mind to do or to think about anything in particular anymore. Let the mind have a break from all that one thing and doing for the next 20 minutes. Then let the mind be aware of whatever that manifests to your awareness regarding the body and the mind, moment to moment, moment to moment. without rejecting, without indulging in the stories or issues that arises in the mind, just simply being aware of whatever that manifests to your awareness regarding your body and the mind moment to moment. Moment to moment. This is relaxation of the mind. <laughs> if this relaxed mind and body, Let us continue with our development on the reflection on compassion today. So for a start, let us recollect one or many of the suffering beings that we can think of.
They can be people that you see in your daily life. They can be the people or the beings that you see in the hospitals. They can be just anyone, any being that you can recollect and you feel about their suffering. So with a tender mind, wholesome mind, sincere mind, let us gently, sincerely wish the suffering beings free from suffering and the causes of suffering. <coughs> free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Free from suffering and the causes of suffering. <laughs> Let the suffering be free from suffering. And the causes of sun. Free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Free from suffering. and the causes of suffering. Suffering being Free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Wishing them, thinking that free from suffering and causes of suffering. Free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Free from suffering and 
and the cause doesn't stop. Now let us recollect ourselves, think of ourselves. Whatever suffering that we have now, bodily, mentally, or if you do not have any suffering now, then let us think about the potency of suffering, old age, sickness, death. Association with what you dislike. Disassociation with what you like. not getting what you want and all other unwholesome and negative emotions and mind state. So similarly, just like how we wish the suffering beings to be free from suffering, let us also have a tender, loving heart for ourselves and gently, sincerely wish. May I be free of suffering and causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. <laughs> May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and hope and the causes of suffering. 
may I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Let all beings in the world free from suffering and causes of suffering. Okay, so gently take a deep breath in. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 For the second time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax. 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 Gently be aware of the feelings of your body. Gently be aware of the feelings of your buttocks touching the cushion. Then doesn't matter whether the experience was good or no good, let the mind come back or be aware of the present moment. Then just like waking up from a deep sleep, gently open your eyes. Okay, so we didn't receive any question, so today will just be a short uh, sharing, okay? So, uh, yesterday we talked about not beginning with the seven types of people to send compassion to in the beginning, right? <clears throat> then how should we uh, develop compassion? Okay, We will follow the we will follow the uh, the principle uh, even uh, behind the compassion meditation. Okay, so if somebody wants to develop compassion karuna until they reach the jhanas, okay, then they will have to do it in specific way. Okay, but for us here, we are just developing the quality. Uh, so we can be a little bit flexible but we will need to follow the principle behind it. That would be better, all right? Okay, so the principle behind that uh, is um, when we are sending compassion, when they practice uh, compassion meditation, so they will first send it to uh, a suffering person, and after that, when they have developed the quality of compassion, that tender, loving heart, uh, then, we will send then the yogi will send compassion first to themselves and then after that to same eh? somebody that you respect and then neutral pe neutral people and then an enemy 
or enemies. Okay. So for those who are practicing compassion meditation, so how do they how do they practice? So first after they come out from the third jhana of loving kindness, then they, after that they come out from the jhana, loving kindness jhana, then they will send compassion to the suffering beings uh, until they reach jhana. After that, come back, send compassion to themselves. But sending compassion to oneself uh, may not be able to attain jhana. Then after that, you have to send uh, compassion to somebody that they respect. First jhana, second jhana, third jhana. After that, uh, we have to select a few, maybe like five to ten. After that, go to the neutral neutral people. First jhana, second jhana, third jhana, every person. Then uh, five to ten people. And then after that, enemies, enemies who want to harm you, okay? Also, then uh, develop compassion towards them. First jhana, second jhana, third jhana. But that time when the meditator has felt that um, their compassion towards themselves, somebody that they respect, neutral people and enemies are the same, then we can say that their compassion is boundless is is uh, no there's no more barriers to sending compassion to because they can send compassion they have the they can have the same compassion to people that they respect neutral people and even enemies okay and they are able to attain the jhanas by that so it is very powerful by that time the compassion would be very powerful okay so <clears throat> imagine this. Usually there's somebody that you hate or somebody that keeps wanting to harm you. But you are able to develop this supreme emotion and entering into the jhana eh, with him or with her as an object. It's really very wonderful. But at time, anger, revenge, cause of brutality and cruelty, will not arise in you. Instead, you will be able to relate to them with compassion. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, that is the wonder and, and the amazing quality of the Buddha's teaching. Okay? Yeah, so for us, when we're developing qualities, eh, we also try to emulate uh, and also try to follow the principle behind that. And at least, it may be even we may not be able to attain jhana uh, with these qualities because you need to be step by step. But at least, uh, at least, definitely, you will be able to remove your anger and thoughts of cruelty and revenge towards uh, those people, uh, especially your enemies, uh, as much as at least 50 to 70%, depending on how you work. Okay. So I would like to encourage everyone Okay, now we have developed uh, gratitude, now we have developed forgiveness, now we have developed loving kindness. So if it is possible, every day uh, at least arise one to two thoughts, or maybe one minute of gratitude, one minute of forgiveness, one minute of loving kindness to keep the momentum going for the previous quality. And then from the time you wake up until the time you sleep, Whenever you see a bee, whether they are suffering or not, we wish them eh, to be free from suffering and causes of suffering. Definitely, we will be able to do that because everyone, if they are not, even if they are not suffering, but they have the potency, they have the potential eh, to suffer bodily or mentally. Isn't that so? So when we understand this, so we, if we can train ourselves uh, to relate to every being, every magpie, every king parrot, <laughs> every kangaroo, <laughs> everyone that you see in your office, your boss especially, <laughs> if your boss is a very angry boss, <laughs> and other colleagues, and family, friends, uh, if you can try to always relate to them, with compassion for this month, then 
it will be very good training for you. And I can, if you can do that, and if you do it correctly, I can say that um, your life, uh, your happiness of the life, uh, will be upgraded by at least like 50, 50 to 70 percent if the previous qualities have not done so. Okay. So please try. I wish all of you to be able to try to, to be able to uh, develop compassion in this way so that it integrates into your life and you'll be able to really, really taste the wonderful, amazing quality of compassion. Okay? So hopefully everyone will be able to do that from the time you sleep, uh, from the time you wake up until the time you sleep. Right? Okay, so that's the session for today. Let us share the reason. Eh? So repeat after me. Eta wata chamehi. Sambadang punya sambadang. Sabe dewa. Sabe buta. Sabe sata. Anumodantu. Sabha Sampati Siddhiya I share my merit with all devas, all beings, all creatures. May they rejoice in our merits. May they be happy. Idame Nyati Nam Hotu Sukita on dunya tayo. I share my merits with all departed relatives. May they rejoice in our merits. May they be happy. Ida me punyang. Asawa kaya. Wahang hotu. Ida me punya Nimba nasa Pacheo hotu By the power of this merit May it be supportive condition For my purification of the mind Till no more defilement By the power of this merit May it be supportive condition for my attainment of Nibbana Mama Punya Bhagan Sabha Satana Bhajimi Te Sabi Me Samang Punya Bhagan Labandu I share my merit with all being, may they rejoice in the merits. May they be happy. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. All right, that's all for today's session. We shall be well, peaceful, and happy, and full of compassion. And see you guys in the next session. Okay, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. <laughs>